Hi, I am Matt from Design Native, and today I'm going to show you how you can create a custom Elementor widget like this one, for example. If you like the video, please consider subscribing and liking the video, and also make sure to check the description as there are some useful links about website development and app development in general, which you don't want to miss. So, to get started, open up your WordPress dashboard and navigate to the pages and click on the page that you want to edit with Elementor. So for me it's my home page, so I'm gonna click with I'm gonna click on edit with Elementor. And I'm going to show you how we can create a similar widget to the one that is on my home page, like this one. So wait for the Elementor to load. Okay, now navigate to the section on the page that you want to edit or add the widgets to. And uh, on the section below you can just click on this plus sign and it will add a section above it. So let's say I want to add a new widget or element, how we want to call it, above this one. So I'm going to click on the plus and it will add a new section. And I'm going to just click on this plus add new sign section. And here you can select the structure of your new element. So as you can see, I have an image to the right and I have some content to the left. Both of them are full screen, so that means I need just two columns. So I'm going to, and I'm going to select the second one. Now, on the right side, there is just one image, which is very simple. And uh, you can see that I was changing with the image position. It was once on the right side, once on the left side. So, just to make it look nice, I'm going to put it to the left side now. So, search for the image and drag and drop it here. Then you can just click on the choose image again. And I'll just choose some image, for example, this one, maybe, or, okay, it can be this one. Now, let's continue with the right side. So I'm going to click on it, and now I want to add maybe some icon, so we make it a little bit extra than we have here. So I'm going to put an icon here. And I'm going to select some icon, like shop, maybe. Okay, and I want the position of this image to be to the left, if I'm correct. Yes, to the left. Now, this is alright. And we can just change the color of this icon. We can make it, for example, a little bit to the black, so let's, let's say we want to make it the gray icon, like this. And now below it we want to add other uh, elements. So I'm going to add some heading, for example this one. I'm going to drag it below it. I'm going to name it, make sure to check your cards, for example, and now below it I will just add another text editor field like this, and we can copy this text that was here before, and it also, it's nice when you just highlight some words in the text, you can do it like this, you just click on this bot or, or just uh, Select the text and just click on the Strella plus B. Okay. I'm going to leave it like this. You can just play with the icon, you can just try to make it look a little bit nicer. And like this you can just make your custom elements with Elementor. Now, if you want to change the orientation to be like 
switched with the image and this one. You can simply just click on the section that you have just created. You can click on the duplicate. It will just copy this section like um, that one and below it. And here you can just play with these columns and you can just switch them. Now you have just easily switch the position of the image and text with these two. Then to make it look a little bit nicer you can also add some margin on the top. So I'm going to unlink these two and I'm going to add 100 of margin for example. Now if I click on the update and I check my page it will be updated with this with these new two elements. So I'm going to try to reload it already. And you can see that we have these new elements already on my page. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and liking the video. And make sure to follow the links in the description if you want to learn more about website development and app development in general. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I will try to answer them all. Thank you and bye.